Hey Clashers, what's going on? This is CC Play here, and in today's video, as the title says, this is going to be a Lost Battlefield tutorial. Now, I think that I've played Lost Battlefield enough now to give you guys some guidance on it. Um, I definitely did not know what I was doing when it first came out, but now I've got a pretty good idea. Now, I usually end up with around about 820 to 860 season points, and I'm yeah, I, I think that I've got enough knowledge to give you guys a few hints and tips. So, the way I set up my teams, I basically have a medium team, which is this team here. I have a super team, which is this one here. And then I have a crappy team, which is this one here. Wrong way around. This is my medium team. This is my crappy team. And this is my super team. So, the idea is I send my medium team in first. Then I send my super team in, and then I send my crappy team in. So, all being well and good, my medium team and my super team should have beaten the other guys by the time my crappy team gets in. But, all is in the proof in the pudding. So, I basically always go for the guys on the left, um, unless it comes up and there's a purple, not a purple, a blue or a green hero, so an ordinary or elite then that means someone has been very, very nice and set up a really easy team so that we can go in and get more gems in the end. So, I'm going to go in and show you guys how my teams work. So, medium team, super team, crappy team. And we should challenge. So, I do think I should be able to get through it for my Atlantic Core Prox. See how my level is higher, so my medium team should get through this nice and easy. I say should. So I'll show you a couple of examples of these guys. I won't go through every round unless they're going really, really well, in which case I will. So this is my super team in action. So my Thunder God takes most of the aggro. He's got top condemnation crest on him, so people attack him and they get stunned, which is really, really awesome. So I'd advise that if you've got it. So like what we've got here, we've got an elite popped up. So I will challenge the elite as it's usually much, much easier than... Oh, oh, hopefully that sound of boom isn't that good. So yeah, usually the guys who put the elite in, um, it's a pretty easy team. And if my spirit mage can get off a good problem, I'm going so slowly. Oh no. Excellent. So yeah, as you see, medium team usually does pretty well. Um, it's not as good as a super team because super team's got both Cupid and pumpkin juke in it. So it's very rare that my super team gets beaten. But a lot of the guys out there, especially a lot of the higher um, ranking people in this, have their best team as the last team. Um, it's pretty confusing because that, that's quite a risk. So I'm going to go in and attack this paladin here and hopefully this paladin is not followed by a load of other really good heroes. The advantage, um, I know a lot of you guys would put your Atlanticore at the back, um, but I put my Atlanticore on the front because he's got 5 of 5 revive, so he revives. Pops that proc off straight away and usually takes enough of the aggro to get through. So I'm hoping my Orcs Bane's going to do it. Tank! You know what, I'm just going to go through all of these. <laughs> yes! Thank you very much, Ella Jeff A 79 So, I was talking to my guildmates about this, and it would be really cool if everyone on Castle Clash actually put their defending teams as ordinaries and elites, because then you you could just go in and everyone could get the you know the maximum amount of gems unless you know you somehow get beaten by an ordinary, um, but that's going to be really hard to implement and I doubt it'll happen. So I'm very surprised if I beat these guys. They're all high less awesome. So I've only recently got spirit mage. So I'm actually doing a lot a lot better in this than I was. Don't know if I'm going to beat these guys. Hopefully I do. They're not that high level. Go on, Thunder God, get a proc off. Awesome. Okay, so as you can see, these team setups work really, really well. Um, oh, it's tempting to go for those. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Um, these, these teams just work really, really well. Um, so <laughs> copy them if you've got similar heroes. I mean, I've used some, I've used shard heroes in there. There's Atlanticore, there's a champion, there's a Thunder God. You know, it's, they're not too hard to get these teams and they work really well. Um, yeah, definitely going to beat this one as well. So this has been a good session of Lost Battlefield. This really has, unless this guy pulls something out of the bag. Robert Neville. Okay, come on. 
Come on, intellect's a bit slow. So yeah, I should beat these guys, but you know what Vlad's can be like. Yeah, this can be easy, walk in the park. Awesome. So that, guys, is how I go about doing Lost Battlefield. I love, love, love this game mode. It is really, really fun. And it's a really easy way to get gems. Um, I've been stuck around the 600, well, in the 600 barrier. Um, I can't seem to get to a 1,000. It's, it's really hard. But, you know, I could have a good run, or anyone could have a good run, and come across elites and get into that thousand barrier. So yeah, guys, that is everything from this little video. If you've got any questions to ask on my Lost Battlefield setups, then don't be afraid to comment in the comment section below. As always, guys, keep it easy, like and subscribe, and this is CC out.